You know why? They want to tell us who a Christian is. That's their presentation. Who is a Christian? And they are called little angels. There are five of them. Five angels. Five angels are here. If you want to be blessed, pay attention to them. And just keep smiling. Don't, don't stop smiling. Amen. Can we put our hands together and celebrate them once more time? One more time. Hallelujah. All right. Are we set? Fire on. Church, praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. Church, if you know that you're happy, stand up and shout the loudest hallelujah. Hallelujah. your hands together now. Ah, ah. Fire on. Church, I am here to talk about the new birth. Church, remember that no one is born a Christian. Rather, it is a choice that I made where you have come of age. It is an experience that changes the course of your life for good. See the four Hebrew boys, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Amanego. Among all the Jews that were taken captive to Babylon, they stood out as true Christians, not forgetting the word of God that they were taught, even in a strange land. Church, can you tell me how many so called Christians of today will not compromise their faith in face of adversity or death? Psalm 119 verse 9 says, The word of God is in my heart, that I may not sin against thee. Psalm 119 verse 50, This is my comfort in my affliction, for the word has quickened me. The Holy Spirit gives you the power to live the word of God in you. Romans 8 verse 7 says, But if the Spirit of him that raised up Christ from dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from dead shall also quicken your mortal body by Spirit 
that dwelleth in you. There is therefore even if an individual shall spread the new birth, which is the only way to become a Christian, it is the continual process that we cease when we become united with Christ internally. It has three stages justification, sanctification, and baptism of the Holy Ghost. Ezekiel 36, verse 26 to 27 says, A new authority will I give you, and I will take my stone heart out of the flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my status. And yet shall feel my judgment, and do them. John 3, verse 5, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I stand to thee, except they may be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Ephesians 4, verse 30, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Matthew 18, verse 3 says, Verily I say unto thee, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of God. The word converted in this scripture is the man response to God's gift of salvation, accompanied by his grace and power of the Holy Spirit, received through faith. Conversion involves changes in the area of relationship, habit, commitment, Pleasure and I'll hold your life. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Mesoma. Thank you. Uh -uh. Fire on. The fruit of the spirit. So you can say you are a Christian or not bring it for the fruit of the spirit. It is your abundance that you will have experienced the new birth, which must reflect in your life as a whole. Galatians 5:22. But the fruit of the spirit is joy, love, peace, faith. Goodness, meekness, tension, against speech, there is no law. Luke 6, 44, for every truth is known by his own fruit. Nor bumble push, do no gather, nor trans men, do no gather the grapes. Let them check yourself and confirm if you are truly a Christian. Do you produce any good fruit? The benefit of being a Christian are numerous to what people believe. Christians only feel the suffering. You must go through your winners. Confirm this from First Peter, First Peter 5, 10. Some of the benefits include enjoying the joy of salvation. Number two, peace always with ethnic things cannot give. Number three, and children's for eternal life. Number four, divine without knowledge and understand. Number five, commandment. Number six, relationship with God. Number seven, materials as well as spiritual blessings. Christ Jesus, who walked after the flesh, but after the Lord of the Spirit, he made me free from sins and death. John 5, 24, very, very, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and shall believe it on him, that send me hated everlasting life, shall not come into condemnation, but pass from death unto life. Thank you, Pastor. Wonderful. Now, church, let's talk about our today's type of Christianity. Sadly, in Christianity, to deal with, have two types of Christians which ought not to be. They are the true Christian in both words and deeds. And secondly, the nominal Christian who is one in words alone. What differentiates one from the other is the food that it produces. Matthew chapter 7 verse 16, it says, Ye shall know them by their fruit. The men gather grapes of thorns, of figs, of thistles. In the days of the apostles, their Christians reflected their physical being as well as spiritual. For today, can you differentiate the difference between a so called Christian sister from her own believer, a so called Christian brother from her own believer? Brothers, sisters, stop deceiving yourself. Attend to church programs, making a marriage relation, or working quietly is not the ultimate proof of a Christianity. Rather, Christ in you, love for glory, living in your life, signifies that you are a true Christian. Right. Don't be a nominal Christian because such has no life in them. It was the sin of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden that gave rise to the new birth. For all creation was condemned to be eternally separated from his maker. But Christ has given our flesh, while in man more, our three kings, my redeemer, and several came to do most baptism and destroy the works of Satan. My precious brothers and sisters all over the world, please don't be like the foolish virgins of Matthew 25, verse 1 to 10. They are the nominal Christians of today. Rather, be among the wise virgins 
who had extra oil in their lamps, make your calling relationship. Don't assume that you are safe. After death, there is no second chance, only judgment. Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man hears my voice and open the door, I will come in and stop with him and he with me. Verse 21, it says, To him that overcometh, who I grant to sit with me in my throne, and I sat down with my father in his throne. In summary, my precious brothers and sisters, be a fruitful Christian. Put your hands together now for Jesus. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Can we?